Robbo's been given the task of uh, doing all the welcomes and so on. The very pleasant duty falls to me to do a little bit of reminiscing about those two great years, 1972 and 82. And as I said, it is a great pleasure to do it because they were magnificent years for the Carlton Football Club. The Blues won six premierships between 1968 and 82. Three of them were against Collingwood. One was against Essendon. And yet those who are old enough to remember, I think will be able to relate to me when I say this, that the two against Richmond were the most gratifying of all. It's hard to imagine these days because the Tigers have fallen upon lean times. But back in those days, they were a tremendously powerful team. They were skillful, they were full of themselves, and they were absolutely ruthless. And Carlton learned a bit about that in 1973. 72 had been a triumph against the odds. Carlton had won one out of nine against Richmond on the MCG in the years since 1965. And I think it was fair to say that Richmond had the wood on Carlton well and truly. Indeed, in 1972, even though Carlton headed the ladder, they lost both times to the Tigers in the home and away round. Uh, held them to a low-scoring draw at Waverley in the second semi and then was smashed the following week. So Carlton had lost three out of four against Richmond on the way to that grand final. Robert Walls once said to me that on the day after that second semi-final replay, he turned up at Prince's Park for Sunday morning training, basically thinking to himself, why are we bothering? We're not going to beat this mob. And Big Nick called the team in before they went out onto the track and he spoke to them. And he told them that he had a plan and that they were going to win. Not next week in the preliminary final, they were going to win the flag. And Wolsey walked out of the room believing now that the team would win the flag. In the two second semi-finals against Richmond, they kicked a total of 17 goals in eight quarters. On the big day, they had 18 at half time on the way to that unforgettable record score 28 goals, 9, 177 to 22, 18, 150. Uh, as a personal aside, it was the first game of league footy I ever saw. I came over as a young bloke on a light plane from Tasmania, and uh, it was like nothing else I had ever seen. It was, uh, it was a triumph. It was a triumph for the players, and most of all, a triumph by the coach who came up with something to resurrect the morale of a team that seemed to be beaten and uh, then to get them to buy in to the transformation that he had in his mind and then to produce the performance over the four quarters on the MCG that day. 82, similar sort of story. Richmond, a very hard team to beat, had the wood on Carlton in finals, uh, gave the boys a belting in the second semi out at Waverley and it really looked as though their capacity to produce in the big games and to produce some pretty torrid footy uh, was going to be too much for Carlton again. But uh, David Parkin resurrected the morale of the troops. They scored a fantastic fighting victory over Hawthorne in the preliminary final at Waverley, a weakened team against a very powerful rival at the start of a great era, and, uh, and then took that into the grand final on a day that for many reasons, some of which we will... Uh, uh, reminisce on in a little while, uh, the Blues produced a, a fantastic four-quarter performance in the grand final to win their, 16, their 14th flag, the club's 14th flag, and uh, it's not well remembered perhaps that at the end of that 1982 grand final, for the first time in history, Carlton had won more premierships than any other club in the competition. And it's a record that continues to be treasured and uh, we hope it'll be held either uh, equally or outright for many, many years to come.